Hello everyone. This demo is to showcase the uh, the workflow which we will be using for the user testing of SendGrid. Uh, as you can see, I am in my uh, staging uh, account. Uh, I have used my personal account, uh, but the workflow which I am going to export and share that can be used every, anywhere in uh, any of the staging tenants, including the user testing uh, tenant which we might have. So uh, I have already configured the workflow for uh, uh, SendGrid. I'm just going to showcase and run the workflow and also uh, demo the steps, what we'll be uh, covering uh, as part of the user testing and what we'll be asking our users to do uh, while configuring the workflow. Okay, so uh, on my use case, as you can see, it's simple. Uh, whenever a lead gets created, I need to send an email campaign. So uh, uh, I already have uh, created a lead, so I can just run the workflow. Uh, the same lead which I have created for Twilio. I'm doing the user testing for both on the same lead. Uh, as you can see, I have my leader already done. So now I can run the workflow, but before running, I'll just explain the steps, uh, what is happening in the workflow. So uh, the first step is the event trigger. As you can see, I have the lead created uh, event uh, configured. And whenever uh, the uh, when I run the workflow, the lead, which is this, uh, will be retrieved using that activity. And once that activity is uh, gives you the lead ID, I can pass the lead ID here and retrieve the uh, email address, what we need for our uh, uh, use case. So I'm also using the third step as the generative AI uh, step that is open AI, where I'm asking to write the content of an email to a new lead contact on behalf of the company UI. Nothing uh, uh, confusing, it's a simple statement for generation of the content. And uh, once uh, I have my lead here in get lead, I'll be passing and creating a record uh, in SendGrid using this add or update contact activity. So this will help me create a contact even in SendGrid based on whatever lead got uh, created in Salesforce. Uh, and the last step is to send an email campaign, uh, which again, I have a drop down here where uh, I can select any email address but uh, uh, le let's use the first email address, which is our uh, sandbox configured or the default address for sending emails. So uh, once you have selected this, uh, you can just go to the two and search for email and uh, under get lead, right? So you will get something like, uh, yeah, under get lead, uh, you'll get this email. So just select that. And that's it. Your uh, uh, from and to are configured. The subject will be a simple welcome to UI path, and the content will be what you have generated using the OpenAI. So here, under generate email of uh, body, you will be just selecting the top uh, uh, this thing top generated text. Okay. Now my uh, activities are configured. All I need to do is run the activity. So I'll do just that. I will be getting an email on. Uh, uh, the email address which I have uh, configured here. Okay, this is my personal email address. So I'll be showing you uh, when the email has uh, been retrieved. So as you can see, the first three steps are done. And fourth and fifth are also done. Great. So uh, our uh, workflow ran successfully without any errors. And uh, the consequence of this workflow should be an email with the open AI content. So as you can see, I did get an email, which is welcome to UI path. Uh, this will usually come in the spam folder because this is a test account. We will not be using a production account. So uh, I haven't given any name. That's why I'm getting the name. But as you can see, this a this entire content got generated from uh, open AI. Okay. And it is talking about UI path, uh, how we are, what uh, RPA technology, uh, what groundbreaking software, uh, we make and all those things. So this is a, a campaign email for our newly created lead. Okay. So this is the use case which we want to use for our user testing. Uh, thanks for watching.